When we arrived in Kisenyi, we found several people helping emergency services to rescue those reportedly trapped in the building in a bid to save their lives. <laughs> The building reportedly collapsed at about 1 p.m. as the area was also engulfed by a downpour. Later, excavators arrived on the scene to help with the recovery process. Eyewitnesses told us what they saw as the building collapsed. Although this is yet to be verified by investigators, some are already faulting the materials used in putting up the building. Let the engineers, the supervisors and the physical planners of KCCA tighten their work. Otherwise, we are going to continue losing our people like this. Kampala Division Mayor Salim Uhuru says city leaders will soon hold a meeting to sort out the cause of collapsing buildings. Every time you hear a building is falling, a building is falling. So good enough, I've communicated with the Lord Mayor. We're going to call a meeting tomorrow to find out what is the problem of these buildings falling. Is it us, the technocrats? Is it the landlords? Is it the engineering department? Is it the contractors? Or is it the cement that we're also using? But the recovery exercise continues. We have uh, removed the four bodies so far. Actually, five, the fifth one, we've just seen it right now. And we're still uh, going ahead with uh, rescuing, if possible, the, because the ones even uh, we were calling, they're no longer answering the, the phone, which means maybe they are dead. But so far, we're just doing a mission to rescue whoever can be rescued there. A month ago, another building collapsed in Chitebi, Bunamoya, in Lubaga Division, claiming one life.